guys, welcome back to Clash of Thunder. You see here, Aussie Woot Woot versus Houston's Elite, 41 to 43, 99.2% uh, on Houston's Elite side. They got one three star, almost got a second one. So you got three three stars for the whole season and almost got two in the finals. Um, interesting lineup to see. Um, I wonder whether Eric's done any wars in this clan before. It looks like they've called in the big guns and it's something you do see in MLCW teams gear up for the finals and get their call in slash ringers. But um, look, that's it. They certainly outplayed us. Their Town Hall 9s are on point. Their Town Hall 9 base building with the... Um, Tesla Troll Farms with the double giant bombs in between them really caused our guys some grief. Um, and there was only two fresh hits from our Town Hall 9s, uh, but they did well on a lot of the clears. So uh, we did get four six-packers, Eiffel, Adji, Gundiver, Master Wong, and a couple of the guys had some good bases. Uh, one hit down from both teams. Uh, where are we? So six on Eiffel, needed a Town Hall 10 hit down. There was... Um, 15 as well. So did they have two hit downs? Well, there you go. Two, two hit downs. Um, Houston's Elite had three Town Hall 9 opens. We only had the two on Aussie Woot Woot sides. That's the last Aussie side out of MLCW for the season. You can see the attacks there. Um, yeah. So defense-wise, you can see one, two. There was only two bases, I think, that took three hits. Uh, and I knocked out one of those with Gundiver. So... Good bases, um, certainly unique, unique to what I've seen so far. It was it was interesting. It was it was it was good fun to see the nines working hard to get these down on the second hits and trying to save it. And in a format where you've only got twelve, um, where you've only got twelve town hall nines, you don't have a lot of room for error. So sometimes defending just that one attack is all you really need in this format to push it. Uh, we're looking at Eiffel Barker on old BJ here, and uh, this was one of the fresh hits. I can't show the other one because we did have that um, server update for, uh, what is it, Halloween in the States, of course. Um, and what have we got here? Eiffel Barker, one, two, three, Gollum, stoned. Stoned Gollum, big heroes. See, so yeah, that's the end of the finals regime for Woot Woot. Um, all out, not looking at listing next season, going in instead to light with the family. A little bit different, a little bit easier to organise sometimes as well because you don't have to worry about that 60% rule. Clan Castle there, they did run a couple of these Clan Castles with a lot of archers and a whoa, baby dragon tail. Um, and there was a few hounds too mixed in. See, the poison was missed there, but he's been quite patient. He's got the golem tank. He has lost two tanks at this stage, so they're showing a lot of patience there. Out comes the queen, and out comes the second poison, so it was very good to hold on to that, especially as he was trying to go through. So it's been patient so far, but has the two has the two heals. So I'm expecting a Tesla farm. It was standard for pretty much every base. Uh, where are we? This was fairly early in the war as well, so I don't know whether he had a good read on the base at that stage. Out come the Hogs, CC Hogs as well. Queen's in midfield, she's still shooting it up. There you go, there's the Tesla farm. Now hopefully he's going to be saving one hill for there. There'll be a giant bomb in between there, I'm guessing. No, no giant bombs. So where are they? Split inside, three inside. And there's going to be another one, no? Oh well, there you go. So, um... Oh, there you go. There's the fourth one. So, well done, Eiffel. Great war, great season. Um, definitely seen him go up and down. One of the better base builders there uh, for Woot Woot and definitely took six and needed a hit down. So, I uh, should be very impressed with your more, mate. Well done. Uh, let's have a look here at my hit on number 10. This was a re-hit. The rest of the hits are all re-hits. I can't show uh, Master Wong's fresh. It's obviously got wiped off. So, uh, this was a rehash. Uh, there was split Teslas on this base. So I've gone with the Queen Walk. You can see a lot of archers and minions and stuff going down at the start. That's mainly just for a little bit of um, DPS early. The Queen, the intention was to walk the Queen clockwise into the Tesla farm. There's a giant bomb or two down there, plus body draw the CC. We'll speed it up there. Uh, so the Queen, she's walking. Max healers, I do love me Max healers. 
Also, she get, does get that ground skelly on the way past. The other ground skelly's over by the enemy king there from memory. A few hogs, I don't know about four. Four was a bit heavy at the start. Um, and you see out comes the CC. So just a level three poison and a max skelly for the queen on the way past. You can see Jimmy Bob throwing him out to take on the enemy king. Lots of spring traps down there. Unfortunately, Jimmy didn't activate that skelly trap. And you can see the hogs running past. But knowing where all the uh, bombs were, of course, makes it quite a simple re-hit. Um, and you can see it drop the skeleton spell on the enemy queen on the way past. And there was a double giant bomb on that top um, expo there. So it was quite an easy heal. Um, quite quite a simple re-hit, realistically. And that was the thing with the bases, was they were really interesting builds. Uh, they were quite easy to re-hit, but they were quite difficult. I know I had a 98% on uh, the second account, and um, so close, so close, but just good, interesting build, builds. And that's what makes the game fun, seeing these different builds, and the, there's still a little bit of life left in Town Hall 9. Now we're seeing here, Adji, this was a re-hit. He's going in. Lightning Lava Loon. Now, I talked to him on Discord with this. I was really curious to see. He put that lightning on the very corner of that air defense there. So, very close to um, max range. Maybe because he's got that max earthquake, it does that extra 4% damage that it knocks that out. But the intention here, you can see the clan castle. It had a hound in the clan castle. And you, can, you don't want to draw that hound with heroes like that. So his intention was to get the Tesla farm that Jimmy's going to be running into, get that early and hope that he dies before he gets into the enemy queen. Therefore, you see so close, half a square off drawing, unfortunately doesn't get the enemy queen. Gets the Tesla farm, gets the archer towers, but that queen... Just a little bit left. You see about 25%, 30% left there. So he starts the hounds. Just has the three. It's good pathing. And you can see he's got a lot of hay spells there. So five hay spells. He's going to use those well. And because he's got three hounds, it's going to leave him spare pups. And what was interesting here was she really followed that second tank. And um, that's where the queen's died. She had three uh, pups on her. Followed that second tank for a little bit too long. Sometimes the game tweaks out. You see your heroes run half the map sometimes. And I think that was one of those spots. I think she did go out of her range. Just an unfortunate uh, advantage, I guess. And you can see here, it uses those extra loons at the end there to tank the wizard tower off the main pack. So, uh, excellent work. Gets all the DPS clean up down, of course. Still a few loons clearing around. So, great hit, Adji. Called in as we had one of our... Um, Mains out. Um, number, what was number was that? 10, 12, 13. Let's have a look at one of Master Wong's. Uh, this isn't really a raid that Beck does often, but um, she's done it well. And this was a re-hit, of course. Now we know, what do we know about this? There was two giant bombs down the bottom there, one by each of the mortars. Uh, the skelly traps, you see a hog going in there to pick out the skelly trap. So as a re-hit, when you can analyse those things and you can see, well, I'll pick out that skeleton trap, I'm going to do a bulk hog. And that was the intention. She, she did add witches into the combo to um, gear up for the Tesla farm. There was no immediate splash there, but uh, probably in the end, the witches didn't really get much value as they did die. But that's um, all part of it. You see the extra skeleton trap coming out. That sort of slowed Jimmy down a bit. A little bit late on Jimmy. And she's also been a touch late on getting the hogs out because there's going to be a hound in that clan castle as well. And she didn't really want to draw the hand clan castle. That's the whole idea of doing the old stink finger raid. And uh, you see out come the hogs. But unfortunately, that hound is already going and targeting the queen. So that's going to be the death of the queen. Now, what was really good was the way Beck did this. Um, you can see that second lot of hogs from the clan castle to go out there and trigger that giant bomb on the way past knowing that there's extra life in those hogs they'll survive it gets the poison down on the queen doesn't rush the skeleton spell but then puts the skeleton spell down there absolutely perfect no defense to shoot no skeleton the queen slowed and what's going to be a roll-on effect from that is those skellies are going to go into the core of the base and clear out that those uh, trash buildings and that is just absolutely mint 
So unfortunately with drawing that hound, the Queen took it out. I don't know whether she used her ability or not. Probably would have been better not to if she had of. Um, and you can see adds the minions into the mix and tries to get those minions to knock out those pups. But uh, I think she would have had it on time anyway. But really good uh, situational rate awareness to be ready of that. So that was excellent. Still plenty of hogs left, a couple of bouts running around and whizzies and all kinds of things. So uh, it's not really a raid that Beck does often, but uh, she came through in the end. Pity I missed her first raid. That was a uh, very nice Queen Walk Witch sort of go wee wee style raid, I guess you could say. It's been a while since you've seen them. You see a lot of witch slaps. Uh, for the Town Hall 9s from HE, they did have some six packs and they had a variety of attacks. It was really interesting to watch. Um, they didn't just do slaps or anything like that. They were definitely mixed, and that's good to see. A good clan has Town Hall 9s that can do a variety of attacks. So that's it for the MLCW Season 4 from me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recaps, and as always, clash on. It